Hello marine bio people, today I want to talk to you about the phylum Arthropoda. Arthro meaning joint, pod meaning foot, the jointed foot, jointed feet, arthropods. So the arthropods are probably the most successful phylum on the planet. Arthropods have taken over our world. A big part of their success has to do with their jointed appendages. They have so many different body structures that can lend themselves to almost every environment. Arthropods, of course, have their jointed appendages. They are segmented. They have exoskeletons. And other than that, they come in every shape and size imaginable. There are so many arthropods on this planet that we guess for every one organism that is not an arthropod, there are three arthropods. So three out of every four animal on this planet is an arthropod. We have about a million arthropods with names, but we guess that there's anywhere between five and 20 million arthropod species on this planet. The most successful and the most diverse group of arthropods are the insects. But this is marine biology, and there are no insects in the ocean. So we're not going to talk about insects. Instead, we're going to focus on a subphyla. So we're talking about the phylum Arthropoda. Within that is a subphylum called Crustacea. The majority of arthropods in the ocean are crustaceans. You're familiar with crustaceans. You've probably eaten a crustacean. The crustaceans are the shrimp the lobsters, the crabs, barnacles, krill, copepods, amphipods, and even roly-polies. Yes, roly-polies are a crustacean. So let's begin talking about the different types of crustaceans. Within the subphylum crustacea, we're gonna talk about two classes of crustaceans, just two. The first one is maxillopoda. Maxillopods are called maxillopods because, remember, maxillae or maxillopeds are feeding appendages, feeding legs. Maxillopods have something weird going on with their feeding legs. That's what puts them in this class, maxillopods. So the maxillopods that we're going to talk about in this class are the barnacles and the copepods. Those are the only two that we discuss. Let's start with the copepods. The copepods are the most abundant animal on this planet. The copepods reproduce like crazy. <laughs> so copepods are in the class maxillopods. Because they're maxillopeds, their feeding legs, two of their feeding legs, are now modified swimming legs. They're like these big oars that they use for swimming around. Copepods are really easy to identify because they have one creepy red eye. Yes, one creepy red eye. Those are the copepods. The other maxillopod that we talk about is barnacles. Barnacles are an arthropod. They are a crustacean. Many students mix them up with mussels. Mussels are a mollusk. Mussels also are sessile and attach themselves to piers just like barnacles do, and many times we see mussels intertwined with barnacles, but we're talking about two different phylum or phyla. We have barnacles from Arthropoda, and we have mussels from Mollusca, the mollusks. So barnacles are an arthropoda crustacean in the class Maxillopoda. They're called maxillopods because of their feeding legs are in the form of what we call cirri. Siri is, is feeding legs, feeding appendages in kind of like a net shape, and they use this to filter the water. Barnacles attach themselves to all kinds of structures. They attach themselves to boats, they attach themselves to oysters, clams, rocks, whales, anything that they can attach to, barnacles will grow on it. All right, let's talk about our second class of crustaceans. Malacostraca. Malacostraca? That is a mouthful. Okay, so Malacostraca, Malacostracans have 
20 segments. There's a couple of 21, but they have 20 segments, and that's what puts them in this category. Malacostraca. We're going to talk about a few common orders from Malacostraca, and that will be all for arthropods. I want to talk to you about a few orders in the class Malacostraca. The first order is Amphipoda. These are the amphipods. A lot of times we call them beach hoppers. They're a little tiny crustacean that hops around on the beach in the sand and they eat seaweed that washes up to the shore. The other order of crustacean I want to talk to you about is the isopods, isopoda. Isopods are roly-polies, pill bugs, wood louse. They get many names. But what drives all of us marine biologists and zoologists crazy is when students call them insects or bugs because a roly-poly, an isopod, is not an insect. Insects have six legs. Isopods, roly-polies, have 14 legs. They are a land crustacean. There are a few in the ocean, but most of them are on land. And the isopods have 14 legs. The reason they're called isopods, iso means same, same foot, is because all 14 of their legs are for walking. And as you saw, most crustaceans have feeding legs, walking legs, swimming legs, steering legs, all kinds of legs. But with the isopods, they just have 14 walking legs. So again, the order isopoda, these are our roly-polies, our pill bugs, our wood louse. <laughs> the next order I want to talk about is the stomatopods, stomatopoda. These are the mantis shrimp. These guys are awesome. It must be time for another Mr. Bird fun fact. Humans have two pupils. The pupil of your eye is what you use to see. Most animals have one pupil per eye. The mantis shrimp has three pupils per eye. The mantis shrimp can see colors that humans can't even imagine. Mantis shrimp can see ultraviolet colors. That is amazing. Not only does the mantis shrimp have fantastic vision, but the mantis shrimp can do an amazing feat. The mantis shrimp can punch faster than a 22 bullet comes out of a gun. The mantis shrimp does this in order to smash and crack clam shells, uh, snail shells, any other mollusk that has a shell. With a punch, it can crack open a shell. Mr. Bird fun fact! Our last order of crustaceans from the class Malacostraca are the decapods, the, the order decapoda. They're called decapods because they have 10 walking legs. So like this crab here, it has 10 walking legs. This hermit crab here has 10 walking legs. And so the order Decapoda is our largest order of crustaceans. These are going to be the lobsters, shrimp, and crabs. Aren't you a good little Decapod, Hermie? The Decapods, some of them have feeding legs, swimming legs, but what they all have in common is the 10 walking legs. All right, marine biology people, I hope you enjoyed talking about the phylum Arthropoda and the subphyla Crustacea. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>